Get ready for some great music and great stories. Band in Seattle starts right now. Welcome to Band in Seattle. I'm Xander Denke, and with me is Sean DeTori, associate producer and host of the mixtape on MyNorthwest.com and Cairo Radio, to talk about tonight's band, Thunder Pussy. Yes, this is Seattle's newest supergroup. Thunder Pussy are winning audience awards for spectacular live shows. The group is led by guitarist Whitney Petty, formerly of the Grizzled Mighty, and she teamed up with vocalist Molly Sides of This Bitch Don't Fall Off and bass player Leah Julius of Cumulus. Now tonight on drums, Saba Samakar is subbing for Lena Simon of La Luz. And this band owns the stage as lead vocalist Molly Sides slithers and writhes like a woman possessed between high kicks and the occasional crack of a whip. So watch out, because we'll be right back with Thunder Pussy. Thunder Pussy Kitchen. I am Molly. Don't mind me, I'm just frothing our warm milk for this evening's bedtime story. Fever is a sultry, sexy song. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you guys are here. I'm Whitney from Thunder Pussy. I'm just relaxing in the sauna. Pretty much what I do every night before I go to bed. What's up? Who knows where ideas come from? They just come. But we, we write together, you know? I mean, it's such a collaborative process. Like, I, are my favorite songs are the songs that we that we all contribute a lot to, and you can tell, I think, those particular songs. Like Fever, for instance. That song goes on a journey, and that was like some eureka moments, like maybe even a mess up. I think the chorus came out of a complete screw up, and we just kind of looked at each other and were like, what? Was somebody recording that? <laughs>
play bass in Thunder Pussy. This is Lena, and she plays drums. She was out of town when we filmed the band in Seattle show, but she's here now. Here I am, here now. And that's all that matters. And I'm all that matters in the world. <laughs> If I were to describe the Thunder Pussy music to someone who had never heard us before, I would call it soulful dick rock. I would, I, that was very surprising. I always say it's like just classic rock, just rock and roll. I guess that works too. It's like really late, so. I'm just gonna steam it up and hope that you guys get out of here, okay? All right. Hey, if you come back, bring me a beer, all right? We'll be right back with more from Thunder Pussy. Speed Queen is guts and glory. It's a, it's a beast. Uh, the Speed Queen is the leader of our motorcycle gang, Alter Ego, which is Hadi Kudarati. I like the beginning, but maybe it's because I'm playing by myself. <laughs> Lena gets a drum solo. <laughs> in onesies, it's hard to tell which one is I'm 15. I'm gonna take a sip of beer right now. <laughs> Molly is an insane artist, not just singer and dancer, and um, she looks great on camera and on stage. Whitney, I could say the same for Whitney, also an incredible artist and musician, and when she puts her mind to something, it gets done, and it gets done good. I was looking for her, she was looking for me. Never look back, never be the same Tell me again, honey, what's your name? Fierce, and I actually hate that word, but she is like a ferocious little lion. She really can make anything happen. She's the idea maker, the crafter. Um, she's incredible. I had the name in, in my brain for a while, but uh, I didn't know what to do with it uh, until I met Molly, because when I saw Molly perform for the first time, she is the embodiment of Thunder Pussy to me. It's almost like we had the name before we had the band, which is pretty cool. You know, and usually when bands start, they spend all this time trying to figure out what they're gonna be called. And for us, we had the name, which meant we had to live up to it.
try not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah, the line? Bad. Thunder Pussy's music is written and composed by Whitney and Molly, and it expresses some of the frustrations of modern life, which become rock and roll jams with a sultry blues twist. These women will chew you up and spit you out in the best way possible. Rocking music and a great show. That's Thunder Pussy. We'll be right back with Thunder Pussy. Leah is like a little ball of surprises, like that little, what are they called, wonder balls? <laughs> it's just like you open it up and it's like, bam, something new, bam, something new. Surprise me a lot, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do. You kind of like bring this really dark humor, <laughs> but it's also really up uplifting in a way. I like that. And you're also an insane musician, Thank and you play a lot of instruments, and I like that. Thank you. I do that. <laughs> She's also a rad drummer and a great guitar player in addition to being a, a bassist, so I mean, that, just what else could you ask for? Lena, on that same token, is a freak of nature. Like, you give Lena a xylophone and she's like virtuosic on it. She's also just super influential in starting Thunder Pussy and um, an all-around amazing person. Um, did you know that she's 15? I really like the lyrics in Badlands. We were driving from Idaho to Seattle, like dr that deserty feel and like the feeling of escape and like driving through that is kind of the inspiration behind that song and I really, really love that. Bright lights on the highway Keep on multiplying sun waves This is our How'd you get your start in music? Um, similar to you, actually. When I think about it, I, the first instrument I ever wanted to play was drums and was self-taught on drums for a long time. Self-taught on guitar as well for a while and ended up playing bass in other bands because people always need bass players. So you just learn it mm -hmm. to be useful. Yeah. And then you end up in a lot of bands. We're kind of an opposite, mm -hmm. but the same situation. Leo works a lot. I don't have a nine to five. I don't have a, a job. One of my bands is, is on tour like half of the year. So when I'm on tour, then I'm actually okay and I'm like making money and it's all good because you don't live anywhere. <laughs> uh, but when I get back, it's really, it's, it's a hard mental adjustment and it's a really hard financial adjustment. But somehow, you just make it work. It's very hard to make being a musician work in this day and age. I play in, right now, four bands as well. 
I also work 40 hours a week as a compensation analyst at a law firm. So I feel like sometimes I live a double life a little bit, but if I didn't do the music, there'd be no point to me doing anything else. Once we've all had our warm milk, Molly is going to sit us down and read us a bedtime story, where the sidewalk ends. We'll be right back with more from Thunder Pussy. Bands should have theme songs. All bands should have songs about their band. That's inspired by Bad Company by Bad Company on Bad Company. When I see you coming down the street, I give you something that you love to eat. You say you're hungry for something sweet. I'll give it to you. Hear you asking for it every night. Tell my peach. Everybody needs a theme song. Ours just happens to be badass. <laughs> it's a headbanger. It's a headbanger. It's Thunder Pussy. I mean, Thunder Pussy's Thunder Pussy. Thunder Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. I do what I love, and Seattle, the Pacific Northwest, is the best, you know? I work with plants all day, I'm a gardener, I love that. And then I make music all night, I love that. I just go with my hands, you know, I'm saying. They should look back in the news about two years and see a thing about a band called Pussy Riot. And I think that that really cleared the way for pussy to be an okay term used in the media. And I think at this point, saying that it's not appropriate is strange. She's good at the political answers. <laughs> <laughs> Like playing solos and you know having Molly do backbends over my head and stuff like that. So Thunder Pussy's the answer. find someone who is as creative and motivated, even courageous, able to put themselves in a vulnerable spot too, you've got a pretty great team.
I think tonight it's Ickle Me, Pickle Me, Tickle Me Too. Ickle Me, Pickle Me, Tickle Me Too. Went for a ride in a flying shoe. Hooray, what fun. It's time we flew. Said Ickle Me, Pickle Me, Tickle Me Too. Well, that's it for tonight's Band in Seattle. If you want to hear more, check us out at bandinseattle.com where you can hear full concerts and find links for more information about our bands and where they're playing next. Sean? Yeah, thanks, Sander. And to stay up with the latest on the band scene, check out my program, The Mixtape. It's on mynorthwest.com and also Cairo Radio. Yeah, you don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for more great music and great stories on Band in Seattle. <laughs>